for the day. I'm gonna try and pull this thing down the river so it keeps going up the river. Yeah, don't bite me, sucker. <laughs> Five casts in, guys. I'm telling you. You want to learn my technique? Go to my YouTube channel and follow. All right? I'm going to bring it in right below you, man. All right, behind you there. Yeah, I'm sure it's a little jack. Fish on. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Run up river. Run up river. That's what I want, sucker. I'm an hour into it and three fish. Hang on, I'll pull them, I'll pull them over to you. Yep. Right in the right in the kiss. Right, you see that? There we go. Just give you an idea what a seven to eight pounder looks like. Okay. Saturday on the poop, slow day. How's it going? Slow still. <laughs> Nature of the warm water. I know when my legs start freezing, that's when it's good. Shortcast, middle of the road. Fish on. Middle of the river. It's a keeper. Thank you. You guys can fish. He ain't going nowhere. Good day. If he does, he ain't gonna make me cry. This is like a nice piece of silver, maybe. Okay, two hatchery. Looks like it. Yep. <laughs> it stop. No, it's kind of thin. Fucking native. <laughs> you don't fish though. You want to hammer right. over here? Yeah, I got it. We want to keep him in the water. Oops. Huh? Fish on. This is a nicer one, guys. Coming down. Yeah, 
slide. It's seven and a half feet, right? Yes, please. If you don't mind. Yep. I'm going to bring them underneath you guys. Oh no, it's not too, not too slow today, guys. I'm an hour into it and three fish. Hang on, I'll pull them. I'll pull them over to you. Right in the kitchen. Oh, you see that? You get a fish, man. You changing your setup? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I brought a lot of extra if you want to try. That's why I'm making the YouTube video. As I hand out, I retie tight like, see how many I got? Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, I got 15 pound, 12 pound, and 23 pound, depending on how new you are. Okay. <laughs> 15 pound floats better, and it works a little better than uh, the uh, 30. So you wouldn't pass no over 20 pounds? I don't like to because it doesn't lift the line as good. Okay. Remember how I was saying you lift the line to get it up to their face? Well, it's not going to floss and lift the line very good if you uh it won't lift it up very good if the line is too heavy or too long right it only lifts it up a few inches yeah you, do. Yeah, you want to have it short enough but long enough to be able to floss but remember i just put smelly jelly egg scent on my little tiny jig looking fly setup right so this fish could have smacked that too so i'm upping my odds by fishing Drifting and plotting, doing all of it. What's that? Uh, Steve Purdue's fishing tips. You just type it in, type it in, and there's enough views on my channel now that if you click on one of the videos, you can go to it. And I'm doing a lot of videos from last year. I got like 40 episodes to post. You don't bonk them. When somebody says they bonk the fish, now you can't bleed it. The heart stops. Okay, so so, so I just cut, the, I just rip the gills out mm -hmm. and bleed them out as fast as you can. Those, I just reach in with my fingers and so rip them out. Yeah, just reach in and grab three or four of them and rip them out and pull them under the water. Um, if I have a bucket on my boat, I'll put them in a the bucket. Oh, really? I'll give you my uh, card because I was just standing next to this guy over here who hasn't caught one and after I told him what to do, he hooked into two fish. No shit. No shit. <laughs> and I was just and I was just telling him how that happens why I'm making my videos to other people and then he caught a fish. And he just came over and he's changing his shit up now. Here man. I'll give you uh you caught kings before? Oh yes. I'll, okay, I'll give you a 15. Here. I'm gonna give you 15 pound line. You just gotta get all these guys out of your way. This is 23 pound. This is my 15. Angled up a little bit. Either way, it comes off really super easy. Here you go. Try that, man. Great. Hey, you bet, man. That's solid, dude. It's
Fish on. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh yeah, run up river. Run up river, that's what I want, sucker. Tire yourself out, bitch. So I got my drag set so it can run up river. It's tiring itself out three times as fast. Hey man, uh, I got a big ass net over there. If you don't mind grabbing it, this is a good size one. You're not gonna be able to hand line in. I wanna keep pulling him down river so he goes up and tires himself off. This will be number three. Let's hope it's a fucking hat tree. It's too close! <laughs> I was hoping it'd be on. So if your corky floats, that's hanging them right in the mouth, right? Because it's picking that weight up in your line up to where your corky's floating at. It's kind of the general idea is you're, you got to have your corky and hook floating for it to work with the way I'm doing it. Feet, when you lift that ball, when you lift that weight up, it picks the line up any longer than that, and it won't pick the line up to their face level. It's too much line, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're about that weight. Does your corky float that hook? Yeah, it does. Dude, go like this, and just lift it till it stops bouncing, set it back down like four times during the drift. You're gonna start picking fish up because it's gonna lift that weight up to the height of the corky and run that line right through their mouth, and it'll be at 11 o'clock on that third lift. It's usually almost always 11 o'clock. Yeah, because you're crossing sideways. They, it, they will smack at this stuff, especially if it doesn't have Cheeto finger smell on it. So I use the uh, salmon egg smell, smelly jelly. And it's small enough like a bait, so they'll either pick it up or you floss. In the middle of the river. Cast and then lift and then lift. I let it bounce about three or four times and then three or four times. Yeah, <laughs> are you serious? Oh, see, oh, oh. see, see, like I, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's got to be on camera for people to believe it when I sit here and talk shit about somebody catching a fish and right. and hey, it's slow today, right? Nobody's catching. Wrong. That was a bite. You're catching because <laughs> you already have that gear floating. Your hook is floating. That's perfect setup. You know, like I said, to copy what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be a porky side on the back like this. It just gotta, it just gotta float. Shit! There he goes. Coming down. Got. Come on. You got a fish, man? <laughs> right? Was it on that last lift? <laughs> lift number three. I'll grab my net, bro. You just your job is just to get a fish on the ground before your buddy gets here now. <laughs> Smoke a bowl, have a beer. If I caught a fish, that's why I brought them. The last time I brought them, I didn't get to drink them. Okay, <laughs> we got you on YouTube video here. What do you have to say? Where are you gonna go with your winnings today? <laughs> we know you're retired and you're tired as shit. <laughs> that's a nice king, man. 
Way to be patient and play it down, brother. A corky versus a cheater and a different hook. Just float them in a cup of water and make sure it just breaks the surface of the water. Just like this, see how it breaks the surface? It's not sitting on top, it breaks the surface. See how it's just sitting under the surface of the water, right? 